Hi everyone, today I'm back with another Slovenia travel guide. We've already covered the seaside region the other day. I'll link the video here and I'll also have it in the description box in case you haven't seen it yet. But today we're going to talk about my favorite region, Gorenska, which is the mountain region in the northwest of the country. Let's start with possibly the most famous spot in the whole country, which is Lake Bled. It's a gorgeous lake with a tiny island with a church in the middle that you can reach by catching a traditional Pletna boat, but there's a lot of other things you can do around, you can take a walk around the lake, you can go check out the medieval castle up on a cliff, there's some amazing views from up there, and before you leave you also can't forget <laughs> to try out the traditional cream cake called Kremšita. It is heavenly, and if you have a sweet tooth and some space left in the stomach, I would suggest you to try out another dessert famous for a bled, which is called Bleska Garmada. Let's just say it is definitely worth a sin. Another lake that's worth a visit and it's just a short drive away from Lake Bled is Lake Bohin, Slovenia's largest lake. It is a lot less touristy, it's very chill and again there's a lot of things you can do in the area. In the summertime you can go kayaking, you can go for a swim or you can also use it as a starting point for hiking because it is surrounded by mountains. Speaking of the mountains, if you want to see the lake from above, go to Vogo. You can go there with a gondola. And if you're visiting during the winter time and if you know how to ski, go ski. Vogo is actually, at least in my opinion, the prettiest ski resort in Slovenia. So if you can, definitely go hit some slopes as well. Another place that has a special place in my heart is Kranska Gora, a very known winter sport resort, I would say. There's even an Alpine Ski World Cup race being held there every year and around the corner in Planica, the home of the largest ski flying hill in the world, the finals for the Ski Jumping World Cup are being held there every year as well. So um, yeah, we are quite a winter sport nation, you can say. But actually, my favorite season to visit Kranska Gora and its surroundings is summertime. There's just plenty of activities you can do in the area. You can go zip lining down the before mentioned ski flying hill. You can obviously go hiking. There's a really good biking trail as well. And there's just lots of pretty spots for nature lovers. One of them is Lake Jasna, which is a really pretty lake with some amazing views of mountain peaks in the background. But if you want to see some drop-dead gorgeous, crystal clear, emerald green water, go to Zelenci. Zelenci is actually a natural reserve. I would describe it as a swamp, but it's also a source of the Sava Dolinka River. It is super easy to reach. It's only a five minute walk from the main road. There's a completely flat trail um, leading you there and it is free to visit as well. So yeah, definitely swing by if you have time. Now in Slovenia, we have quite a lot of waterfalls. So you have quite a selection going on. <laughs> but if you're around Kranska Gora, and again, want something that is easy and quick to reach, and also free of charge to visit, go to the Perichnik waterfall, which is actually one of the highest in Slovenia as well. If you're brave enough, you can actually even walk around it, but it is very wet and slippery, so you have to be careful if you're gonna do that. The last place I'm going to mention today is the most pristine river of Slovenia and probably even of the whole Europe, River Socha. Random fact, it's where some parts of the Chronicles of Narnia were being filmed. Uh, but yeah, it's just a really beautiful river with lots of pools and canyons. So you can go rafting and even swimming if you can brave the cold. <laughs> the spot I'm showing you right now, by the way, is called Velika Korita Socha. So these were some of the most beautiful spots in Slovenia's mountain region. But honestly, there's so many. I could go on for hours and hours. So if you would like to see more of this kind of videos, let me know down below, give this video a thumbs up and I'll try to film some more for you. And also, of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that bell button below as well so that you don't miss any of my videos and I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching, bye! About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking.